video we're going to show you how to set up a 3M hand masker for use with paper and plastic. When we're actually masking an exterior of a building or a house, I actually carry two paper maskers or two maskers, 3M hand maskers. I use a plastic one with 72 inch film and I use a paper one with 9 inch paper. And that way as I'm masking, I can completely 100% mask as I go. I can mask the windows and I can mask off anything that is paper. And when I've got a masker that I'm going to set up. I've got 3M 2020 tape that I use. We always use one inch tape. Pretty typical. It's pretty rare that we use inch and a half, but on occasion we do. This, this masker, the way we're masking, we're going to use three inch or one inch 2020 tape. And the tape itself is going to go onto the masker just like this, and the tape is going to come out towards you. The tape is on wrong. It comes underneath. You want the tape so that sticky side of the tape is facing down. So when the sticky side of the tape is facing down, there's got this tab right here. It's going to go underneath that tab and then it's going to stick onto your paper. The paper is going to be installed on the masker. So you're going to take your paper, the paper comes over the top and if the masker is facing away from me, I'm going to slide it on to the catch and just like that. And it's got this little thing, this is this spring-loaded thing, this is going to keep the paper flat onto the roll. So now i got my tape on, I'm going to tack it onto my paper, pull it down, and I'm good, set, ready to go. The blade itself comes off, you got to be careful when these things are brand new, they're extremely sharp. So you want to set, it's got four holes, and the holes are there so you can set it according to your tape. The second hole in, we'll set it for the masker. The blade is completely even with the tape, just like that. If you got inch and a half tape, then you're going to want to set into the third hole in, which sets the blade out wider, as you can see. So I'm using one inch tape, going to set my blade, just like that. I use a ladder hook, and I like these ladder hooks like this because I keep the hand maskers on my back pockets, just like that when I'm working, so I can access some. Uh, use it, it's going to put it in, they'll work in the front pockets or back pockets. And I take the ladder hooks, put them on, and they come with a, like a large size rubber band, but I actually put them on, and then I use just tape, and tape them on, and it keeps that ladder hook in place, and definitely stays on there. And then I like the, the feel of the tape um, as a grip. To set up a plastic masker, it's the same thing. I got my one inch 2020 tape. The tape is going to go on with the adhesive facing downward. So downward, I got my roll of plastic film, the plastic over the top. You don't want it so it falls underneath. You want the plastic so it rolls over the top. You're going to press it on. Make sure it's all the way on. Take your tape, put it underneath this tab, and then onto your plastic, and then it has to go underneath that tab. I can get set. It's ready to go. I've got my ladder hook. Now I can carry two maskers at one time while I'm masking. This is Chris with the Idaho Painter on how to set up a 3M hand masker. In this video, we're going to be showing you how I actually set up a 3M M3000 hand masker to have a ladder hook or to use it to hook onto one of the fat pass pockets. I like to have these ladder hooks so I can carry around my hand maskers on my pockets. And the hand master actually comes with a wire device that looks like this, and what this device is is actually a ladder hook. And I take my hand masker and it came out of the package just like this. And you're going to take this hook, ladder hook, and you're going to put it on your hand masker. And it fits on the handle inside these rails right here. And I actually like the, the ladder hook to actually be pointing in the same direction as the hand masker like this, either straight or off to the side just like that. And the masker will hang in your pocket and straight down just like that. Then I actually take 3M 2020 tape. Now, take tape to actually 
keep this ladder hook on your 3M hand master permanently. It actually comes with a rubber band, but the rubber band actually slides up and down and the ladder hook will actually come off pretty easily. So, so I'm going to continue taking tape. Now, I like how the actual tape feels on my hand and the tape actually will last on here for several years. Just keep taking tape, pulling it off. And we're going to cover that whole wire that goes down the handle. Continue doing that. If you have inch and a half tape, inch and a half tape will go a little bit faster. But I don't want any wrinkles in the tape. I want it to be nice and smooth. Because you're going to be using these things all day long. So you want the grip to feel nice and smooth in your hand. Make sure it's nice and tight. And I'll usually put about two layers of tape on that thing. It's got a nice, good grip on it, and this ladder hook is not going to come off now. Then the last step, you just take your blade, just like this. And I'm all be using one inch or one and a half inch tape, and that's the first two holes. The inch, one inch tape uses the second hole over, and the hand masker has a little spring-loaded pin right there that actually goes into the hole. And we'll just take, snap that right into place, and the hand masker is set up and ready to load up with your tape or paper and plastic.